The scars left on your mirror were fortunately much more shallow than anyone had anticipated. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. And the next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form. was heavily wounded, and he had been in a deep sleep ever since. And while we knew his injuries weren't life-threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Meanwhile, You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious, I should probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do. And to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Ring, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and St. Astraea, it's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Mom, thanks. <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Celine, please, take care of him. You can count on me. On my honor as a member of the Bracer Guild, I'll do everything in my power to see your request through. I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. We'll see you soon. Take care. And may the goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really is. And I'll have to do everything I can to bring Elise and Princess Alfin back safely so that I don't let her down. No, I will bring them back. <laughs> Guess we can skip the pep talk if you're that fired up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah, I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out.
Here we are. <sighs> Finally getting used to walking on the snow. The Divine Knight's exactly how you left him too. Thankfully. It wouldn't have surprised me if Vita had tried messing with him, but he looks just fine. Speaking of, do you have any idea what she might be after? She knows Valimar is here, but as far as I can tell, she's not interested in stealing or destroying him. For now, anyway. It's kind of weird when you think about it. He's probably one of the biggest threats to the Noble Alliance. I've got no idea what goes on in that head of hers. But I'd say that there's a good chance her and the Noble Alliance's goals aren't as perfectly aligned as you might think. And if that's true, whatever she's doing is probably for the benefit of Ouroboros. Hmm. You said the Anguis are the top brass in the society, right, Tobal? If she's that high up, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. <sighs> well, whatever she wants. Can't see it being good news for us. They've been trouble all over the continent in the past. I'm trying to think what they've got in store here in Erebonia. But, well, at least we've got time to stop them. Things could have ended a lot worse yesterday if not for Valimar's help. I can't even imagine the ways Ymir would have suffered if we didn't stop that magic knight. I'll need to thank him when he wakes up. That will not be necessary. Whoa! Valmar? I suppose one night was enough for you to recover a little bit of your mana. Not enough to freely move around though, I'm guessing. Correct. Further rest will be required in order to return to full capacity. Okay, get as much rest as you need. We'll call on you if anything else happens, okay? Acknowledged. Wow, easy enough to communicate with him, huh? Then again, I think that one Gordius class robot could technically talk too. Is something wrong? Oh, no, just thinking. I sense a change has occurred in your group since I last entered a state of inactivity. Confirming the absence of the wave floor of one number, assuming that some form of irregularity has occurred. Wait, is he talking about Elise? Maybe. He appears to be aware of what's going on around him to an extent. Valimar, we're going to be leaving this region for a while. My sister and the princess have been taken away, and we're going to rescue them. Plus, I need to find and reunite with my classmates, too. So take this chance to recover as long as you need, okay? Classmates? I assume that this word refers to those who have aided you in overcoming the trial to become an Awakener. Yeah, is that a big deal or something? Valimar? Confirming way for locations. Excluding the Awakener of Azure, the remainder of here be located in three different regions. All vital signs are normal. Hold up a sec. Does that mean you know where all of them are? I see now. Do you remember when you overcame the trial to become Valimar's Awakener? Well, obviously, you weren't alone when you did that. You were with the rest of Class 7. And it sounds like, thanks to them being there with you, they've all been recognized as secondary contractors at the same time. Oh! So that's how... Please, Valimar! Tell me where they all are! Detecting approximate locations using geographical tables. Three are to the southeast in the Keldic region. Three are to the northeast in the Nord region. Three are to the south-southeast in the Lagran region. This includes a list of locations of all nine secondary contractors. All vital signs appear normal. Yep, that's all of them. That confirms my theory. They're all okay? They're really okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. 
Though I sure wasn't expecting us to get confirmation of their safety quite like this. Ugh, look at you crying away. And you call yourself a man. Quiet, you. Aw, oh, come on. You can't pretend you aren't breathing a sigh of relief right along with us. This means Emma's safe too, you know. <sighs> oh, I for one am definitely breathing a sigh of relief. Still, all three locations are a ways away from Ymir. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Noble Alliance has got control of key locations all over the country on top of it all. On the plus side, they're all on the eastern side of the Empire, but getting to them ain't exactly gonna be a walk in Modern Park. Oh hey, wait! Valimar, can't you use the Spirit Path? Affirmative. Doing so would consume all of my current mom power. Spirit Path? What's that? It's the name given to a really old means of travel. Using it will allow us to travel instantly to even distant locations. Seriously? How? You know how there are still remnants of animism all across Erebonia, right? Well, places like that are connected to one another by spirit veins. Septium veins, in other words. And Valimar has the ability to use those veins to travel. Yeah, that's kind of going over my head. But basically, you're saying it's like an invisible road that connects places like Legram to here or wherever else? Exactly. The spirit path can only be used between areas where animism had a hold, though. The other drawback is that taking it will use up what little mana Valimar's been able to recover. Which means that until he's recovered enough to travel again, we won't be able to come back here. I see. Personally, I can't think of any better options. I think we should give it a try. What do you think? It sounds worth a shot to me. Now all that's left is to pick which place we should head to first. Right. Keldic, the Nord Highlands, or Legram? I think Keldic is the closest to here. Maybe we should try heading there first? Keldic, huh? I'm down. Should make a good test run for this whole spirit path deal. All decided? Come with me then. Right. The monument would have ties to animism. Hmm. This seems like a good enough spot. Are you both ready? Ready. Anytime. Velimar, open the spirit path! Our destination is Keldic. I'll lend you all the support I can, too. Acknowledged. Whoa, hey, the ground's glowing. What's this? All right, here we go. Take